Hey everyone, Sumo Spiffy here. Oh, that Basho got a lot spicier than we expected, huh? Grats to Teru on you show number 10. Hell of a performance from Takano show as well. But commenting on what happened is for another day. It is time to talk Banzuke. Let's do some math and figure out just how big of a disaster this is gonna be. Alright, and that is the math done. Let's see what we got. So first of all, let's start at the top as we usually do, but there is a little something that we should talk about here. Obviously, Teru is the Yokozuna, he stays in place. Koto Zakura, 10 and 5, Hoshoryu unfortunately got hurt, so he only had 9 wins, so they'll stay in the same relative order. Takakeshio got demoted, so now we only have the two Ozeki, but let's look at the Sekiwake and the Komsubi. Abi, 8 wins. Onosato, 9 wins. For a very long time, this wouldn't have made any difference. They would have left these two guys in the same relative order. But not that long ago, Kotonowaka, now Kotozakura, finished with 11 wins at Sekiwake West, and I think it was Daisho had 9 wins at Sekiwake East, and they got flip flop. Why they did it that time, I'm not entirely sure. There was some talk that part of it had to do with Kotonowaka being seen as the better candidate to reach Ozeki. So he had more wins and he's viewed as the better wrestler, so they put him ahead. If that's got anything to do with it, you gotta figure Ono Sato is gonna be favorite over Abi, no doubt. So I'm gonna put Ono Sato ahead of Abi. Hiroshima just hung on, so he'll stay at Sekiwaki 2 East, and Takakesho, as a demoted Ozeki, will go to the end of the Sekiwake line. So we're going to have four Sekiwake in Aki in September. And now let's go to the Komusubi. We've got Daisho on eight wins and Hirudumi on ten. So this brings up the same question as Ono Sato and Abi. You gotta figure they're not gonna switch Ono Sato and Abi and not Hirudumi and Daisho. So if I'm thinking Ono Sato is gonna get bumped up, I have to do the same thing for Hirudumi. And to be honest, that makes a lot of sense. Daisho has been spinning his wheels at these ranks for a long time. He's still good. He's still a solid Sanyaku level wrestler, but a solid lower Sanyaku level wrestler. Hirudumi, he's been coming up and up and up. He's doing really well. No longer a hater, don't, I mean, I got called out a little bit for that, and that's totally fair, but he's been showing that he, his level of improvement is certainly higher than everyone around him, to say the least. So I'm not completely sure that they're going to do the flip-flop between the higher rank and the guy with the better record at Sekiwake and Komusubi, but for the moment, I'm going to leave them there, but if you're playing Guess the Banzuke, you're going to have to make your own decision on that point. Now, you may have noticed I have Takano Sho sitting at K2. That's not because he's going to be a Komusubi. He isn't. The only reason I put him there was because I wanted to separate him from Tobizaru. He's well ahead of Tobizaru mathematically. Tobizaru maths out to Maegashira 1 East, and the K2 slot was the only one available on the, the Guess the Banzuke helper to actually put Takano Sho to create that separation. But he's not going to be a Komusubi. Even 12-3 and three and losing the playoff, even if he had won the U Show, from Maegashira 6 going to Maegashira 1, that's still a really big jump, and that's what he's going to get. So let's make those moves. Toby Zaro is going to slide to one west, which is fine. Takano Show is going to go to one east. Atami Fuji is going to slide over to two east. So for the fifth straight Basho, this guy's going to be either Magashira one east, one west, or two east. It's kind of absurd. This has to be unheard of. I mean, maybe somebody somewhere along the line did something like this. But just to look for your bad records in a situation like this to not push you down further is pretty wild. I gotta think that Atami is eventually gonna get the winning record at the right time to push to Komusubi, but at this point, I have no idea when that's gonna happen. But Takeyumi and Oho, uh, this one's a little tricky because Oho could go ahead and then you've got the half-ranked emotion for both Matakeyumi and Atami Fuji. Or you could say Matakeyumi stays at 2 West because with a 7-8 record, he can do that. He was in the joy, he had a pretty tough schedule. Oho, not so much. Oho's schedule was not that bad relative to Mitake Yumi's. For the draft, I'm going to favor guys who were in the joy over guys who weren't in terms of tiebreakers, but that's going to be something that's, that'll take a little bit more thought when it comes to an actual Guess the Banzuke entry. So for now, we're going to leave Mitake Yumi ahead. 
Similarly, Wakamoto Haru and Shodai. Shodai was pretty far down there, and he finally performed the way Shodai should down at the double-digit Maegashira ranks. Went 10-5, and five, didn't even make it look that hard, even though he lost a couple of matches that maybe he shouldn't have. If Wakamoto Haru stays ahead, he'll go from 2 east to 3 west. One and a half rank drop on a 6-9 record, that's pretty fair. Shodai will go up an extra rank, get 6 ranks on 10-5. and five. Yeah, that's completely fine. Everything here seems okay. Next, we have Koto Shoho and then Shonen Umi. Well, Shonen Umi can only go to 5 West because he was 7 and 8. So Koto Shoho definitely goes up to 4 West. I believe that's going to be a career high rank for him. Wakataka Kage to 5 West, that makes perfect sense. That seems perfectly okay. Ura was Magashira 4 West. Now, technically, because the Joy is the top 16 wrestlers, and technically that didn't include him. However, because of the injuries ahead of him, he ended up fighting Takekesho, Horushoryu, Terunofuji, Kotozakura, and Abi. So that's more than half the Sanyaku. Therefore, for these purposes, I'm gonna think they'll treat him as being part of the joy and leave him ahead of Churunoumi. And that means Ura will go to 6 east and Churunoumi to 6 west. And if you're thinking, yeah, but didn't Chura have fights against the Sanyaku? He did, but only because he was sort of contending for the title. And then he got Daesho and Oonosato and that was it. If they're taking strength of schedule into account, which it seems like they sometimes do and sometimes don't, Ura would definitely get the advantage there. Meisei gets to move up one, loses six ranks on four and 11, seems fair. Gonoyama, four ranks on five and 10, again, seems fair. Now we get to our first tie where the guys are not in the joy. We've got Midori Fuji, eight and seven, and Endo at 10 and five. If you'll recall, there was a similar situation last tournament. Shonen Umi was nine and six at Maegashira 10 East, Takano Sho was 8 and 7 at Maegashira 8 East. Both of them were going to be overpromoted, and they ended up putting Shonen Umi ahead of Takano Sho despite the tie. So I'll stick to that idea and I'll put Endo ahead of Midori Fuji. Midori's still going to get two ranks on 8 and 7, but Endo is going to bounce way up to Maegashira 8 East with his 10 and 5 record. Oshoma and Ichi Yamamoto. This one looks like it might be complicated, but I don't think it is. If we put Ichi up to 9 East so he gets the bigger bump, Oshoma goes to 9 West, and Tamawashi goes to 10 East. That way, Oshoma and Tamawashi, who were ranked neighbors and both went 7 and 8, remain ranked neighbors, and Ichi Yamamoto is the beneficiary. That's pretty simple, and it would really be kind of arbitrary for them to do it a different way. This is a safe bet. Now we get to our next tie, Sada Naumi and Roga. Obviously, their records are a lot more disparate than Chura Naumi and Hokuto Fuji's were last time, and it was admittedly a different situation then because Chura Naumi had to be favored in order to get just his one rank promotion on an 8 and 7 record, which the committee has definitely been trying to do for people. In this case, Sada Naumi is going to be under demoted, and Roga will be over promoted. Does that change anything? It could. I'd have to look up things a little bit more. I don't think it's unfair to put Roga ahead of Sada no Umi at this point. Again, as I've said for the last few of these, they have been mostly favoring the better record over the higher rank. Not in every case, but mostly. So we'll take that as our safe guess for the moment. Kagiaki gets a nice fat jump, four and a half ranks on nine and six. He's going to be in Maegashira for a little while, which is kind of crazy if you've paid attention to his career for the last few years. He looked like he was going to be a Jurio regular for basically as long as his career lasted. Now, he's got, going to have a second tournament in Maegashira, at Maegashira, probably a third unless he completely craps himself, and maybe even a fourth. Is it a renaissance? No, it's not, it's not a renaissance. He's, he's not going to do that good. But he still had an impressive Basho, good for him. And now we get to the real mess. What do we do with all these guys who are supposed to be demoted? Bear in mind, Makauchi has 42 wrestlers in it, but only 38 are in there mathematically, which means we have to drag four up who calculate down into Jurio. Now this happened because Takiyasu had zero wins and was Kyujo most of it. Onisho had zero wins and was Kyujo for most of it. So it is what it is, but it does make the decisions a little more complicated. The first question, who do we keep the guys coming up from Jurio behind? Well, Bushozan, Bushozan of all people, had a winning record in Makauchi, so I guess he probably stays ahead of Onokatsu. And if he's tied with Kinbozan, Kinbozan probably stays ahead of Onokatsu as well. Now, granted, they don't have to put Kinbozan ahead of these guys. The fact he had a losing record means they very well may not. I'm leaving him ahead purely because he was tied with Bushozan, but that may not hold. He might get bumped behind Onokatsu and Shirokuma. 
Onokatsu will put him at 13 East and Shirokuma at 13 West. They have not been kind to guys with losing records. They've been putting Jurio guys mostly ahead of them, not every time. But since these Jurio guys calculate ahead of Hokuto Fuji and Nishikigi and Ryuden, I think it's pretty safe to say they're going to be ahead of those three at the very least. Now, these three are nicely ordered, so we can just move them up. Hokuto Fuji, Nishikigi, Ryuden. So now who do we drag up to fill up those last four slots? Well, Takiyasu is an obvious choice. He was Kyujo, couldn't fight. He's at the top of this list. You know, it's fine. Takara Fuji, obviously an easy choice as well. He's the next guy coming down from Makauchi in line. He's ahead or tied with everybody who is in Jurio, putting him at 16 East, totally fine. Onosho, Nishiki Fuji, and Chiyoshoma. And I realize that I'm treating these guys as not existing at the moment. There's a reason for that. Bear with me. Nishiki Fuji has to be out. He was 6 and 9 at 17 East. He was at the bottom rank. They cannot keep him in. So, if you look at the guys from Makauchi coming down, that leaves Onosho and Chiyoshoma. So that should be pretty easy, right? Well, Toki Hayate obviously can't be promoted. Let's bump him to 1 East. Onosho, again, Kyujo at 5 East, I think there's no chance that they're going to demote him to Jurio for a guy like Katana Waka. So we'll put him at 16 West. But will they drop Chiyoshoma in favor of Katana Waka? This is the question. Shishi's not going up. It's going to be Katana Waka or Chio. So what are the arguments either way? Well, Chio was in Maegashira. If you care about something like this, and I don't know how much the committee does, he was injured to start the Basho, but then came back and fought pretty well. He could have definitely saved himself with a win on the last day, but he couldn't pull it off. So that counts against him. But if we're just looking at the numbers and history, Katana Waka should be ahead, but he didn't get into Makauchi and he really didn't come close. It wasn't like he got to Jurio 1 East. He was Jurio 3 and only got an 8 and 7 record. That does not speak well for him. So the next question is, how much of a demotion is it for Chiyoshoma to go to 17 East? Two ranks on what is essentially 5 and 10? It's a small demotion, but I don't think it's an unfair one. It's one that they've certainly done in the past when the situation calls for it, and I think the situation calls for it now. I don't think they're going to reward Katana Waka's 8-7 record with a promotion to Makauchi when Chiyoshoma has a perfectly reasonable argument for staying. He's not in a situation where it would be completely absurd to leave him in the division. So I do think Chiyoshoma stays. Toki Hayate and Katana Waka are going to be Jurio 1. No, I don't know which one's going to go where. They could do this either way. I actually think they're probably going to put Katana Waka at 1 East and just give Toki that little bump back. But these are going to be your guys shooting for at least an 8 and 7 to move up to Makauchi in November. Getting further into Jurio. Do they put Nishiki Fuji ahead of Shishi? Hmm, yeah, probably. It's a two rank drop. Six and nine, that's reasonable. He was in Makauchi. And Shishi's going to be overpromoted anyway to Jurio 10 East. Now, Asano Yama could actually fill that slot. They could bump him only down to Jurio 2 West. Do I think they're going to do it? Eh, I really don't know. Because it's not part of the Banzuke, I don't think about it quite as hard. For the moment, I'm actually going to put Shishi ahead and then Asano Yama at 3 East. So I do think he'll be ahead of Tama Shoho. That's all the guys coming down from Makauchi taken care of. So we can just move Shimano Umi up. Uh, Shimizu Umi, I think, will go to 4 West, and Dayamami will get a small under demotion to Jurio 5 East. Similarly, for the moment, I will put Hakuoho ahead of Hidden Umi. They could get flip flopped either way. Unfortunately for Mitoryu, Tsurugisho, and Shiden, those guys are going to screw each other over. Shiden has to get some kind of a promotion, and even though they could bump him back to 7 East and be nice to either Surugisho or Mitoryu, I kind of think they're not going to. Asakoryu is going to have to get bumped back to Jurio 8 East to make room, and then probably something like Surugisho to 7 East and then Mitoryu to 7 West. And even though that's a full rank over demotion, the only way neither of those guys with the losing records are going to avoid a full rank over demotion is to put Sheet in there, which would give him no promotion on 8 and 7, and that just doesn't happen. You get a winning record, and you move up at least a half a rank. I think they'll just give him the full rank and call it a day. Daishoho, Hakuyozan, Daisezan I put all the way up here because he was 7-0 in Makushita, and if you add 7 ranks to where he was, which was Makushita 2 East, that puts him at Jurio 9. He's not going to be here though, he's going to be far lower. So let's give Hakuyozan the little bump, I don't know how this guy keeps surviving, he, like whether he goes 9-6 and six or 5-10 and 10 or whatever, he looks like he's barely functional, but he still somehow has these Bashos where he does really well, uh, kind of blows my mind. 
Then we've got Miyogiryu, Tohakuryu. Kiryuko is being promoted from Akushita, so he's going to be quite a bit lower. So we can move Fujiseun up, we can move Tomokaze up, and we can move Tekaru Fuji up. As it turned out, he probably didn't even need those two wins because there weren't enough guys in Makushita to really threaten his position. But of course, he didn't know that. So coming back and getting those two wins was a good idea. Hopefully, it didn't totally screw him up with that chest injury, though. And now, what do we do with everybody else? We've got six guys in six slots. Well, let's put Daisezon at Jurio 12 East. Although they tend to put Makushita promo tees behind as many guys who were in Jurio last Basho as possible, when Onokatsu was promoted, he was 5-2 and two at Makushita 2, and he got put ahead of a couple of guys who, and they didn't have to do that. They could have put him behind them at uh, Jurio 13 instead of Jurio 12. So it's actually quite possible Daisezon gets moved up even higher. I kind of don't think he will, though. I'll be a little surprised if he is. Not shocked, but I'll be a little surprised. But let's put him there, and then we'll put Kiryuko at Jurio 12 West. I think it's fairly safe to say they're going to be ahead of Chiyosakai, Aoyama, and Kayo. Oshoumi is tied with all three of those guys, and he's coming up from Akushita, so he's going to be 14 West. This means Kayo is almost certainly going to be 14 East, and even though they could put Chiyosakai and Aoyama in whichever order they want, if we just maintain this order of the records descending 5 and then 6 and then 7 wins, that's pretty clean and it's as close to correct as we're going to get. Chio and Aoyama should probably be the Jurio 13s. Enjoy the Big Dan show while you can because Aoyama, this might be his last ride in Jurio and it's really hard to imagine him continuing when he eventually drops to Makushita. And that is the instant Bonzuke heading out of Nagoya 2024 and heading into Aki. As always, this is a draft. Many of these things may be subject to change, especially in this case from Magashira 13 down. So what do you think? What would you change? If you have some ideas for those bottom nine guys, because I imagine there are people picking every rational combination for those nine slots. So hit the comments, tap the like button, tier list recap and more coming up. Have a great day. I will see you soon.